Marty. Glad to see that this, we're back online, I think it's online, shit. Here to put my, I was shut off, I was cut out, I was, Censored yesterday. Okay, we're on. Put my phone in airplane mode while I'm carrying it close to my heart. The Wi Fi is not good for you. So I'm glad to see that. We're back online here, and um, the Vandal, the Christian Vandal, telling us to reject false idols. You know, yes, two nights ago, whatever. You know, we were. This was vandalized by a Christian, I guess. The night before, Keck Girl was here when there was a Christian group here, Homies for Christ, and Keck Girl, I don't know, with a blue blonde dreadlocks. She was praising Keck and they weren't too happy about it. So I, don't, the, I suspect that they might be the ones that came by or one of their followers and vandalized this. But, you know, that's not bringing anybody to your cause, you know by doing that and that's not very Christian like and uh, this person is a lowlife that vandalized this uh, he's probably home jacking off to cartoons right now and uh, so you're a lowlife person that vandalized this but it's back on um, I was shut out yesterday and shouted down by um, the Clintonites and the Obamanistas because supposedly this is anti-Trump and you know despite Shia supposedly recognizing that there's other views I think he's a I think he's a cool guy he could have beat me up because uh, the day before this opened, I, I, I was passing by and I, I was aware of uh, this He Will Not Divide Us thing from YouTube channels I watch and so I just, I just thought they were dividing people more and I just pulled up on my bike and asked uh, if they were, this, there was like 10 of it, 10 of the people here, they were painting it and his entourage or whatever I didn't see him there and I just I asked are are you all with Shia La, La douchebag and they laughed and all of a sudden there's some guy coming up to me with wide-eyed and I realized he says I'm here he said I'm here and so it was Shia and 
I asked them, are you going to beat me, beat me up and uh, so that you can go to Albuquerque jail? And he's like, no. So he did talk to me, but uh, shook my hand. But I, we spoke a little bit, and he's, he's, he's pro, he's anti-Trump. So he walked off after a while. He didn't shook my hand, but he walked off. He didn't want to, he couldn't reach me. I was telling him about why I thought we should support Trump. He's president, you know. And uh, so anyway, I just, I just feel that th this is a good thing that people are coming together and talking about things here. Um, but there's still a lot of division and these people, the Obamanistas and the Clintonites, you know, that they, they haven't gotten over that they lost. Um, we ought to, we have to stick together. We're in deep shit. Nibiru is coming. It seems something's happening. I got ridiculed yesterday for talking about chemtrails and the, and people don't seem to notice that some days there's clear skies and then other days the sky is full of chemtrails or trails coming out of jets and people don't they'll just say oh that's just a contrail you can't tell the difference between a contrail and a chemtrail you know a contrail will dissip dissipate quickly it doesn't it's not long it doesn't go all the way across the sky from west to east and south to north you know and so my my view is that one of the reasons they're spraying shit into the air is to obscure what's coming this way they don't want people to panic and uh and then the days that they're not doing it there's clear skies i think what's it's what's coming isn't visible it's below the horizon so they don't have to spray that day and uh i would just want to recommend a, a channel on youtube wso i think that's one of the, a good place to start as far as checking out nibiru and uh what's coming the sumerians knew about it if you read uh the 12th planet by zechariah sitkin uh, just Google the 12th planet, Zechariah, S-I-T-C-H-I-N, Sitkin. Uh, that was written in the 70s. They tell about how the Sumerians knew about it, and the speculation is that this planet comes around every 3,600 years on a really uh, elliptical, uh, well, highly elliptical, very elliptical course. And so, um, seems interesting to me in these end times that this is approaching. Um, you know, um, I do believe, I do believe in Jesus and I do believe that he's coming. I do believe he's coming back, and I know that's going to uh, shut a lot of people's ears with what I have to say, but it seems I have a lot of questions still, but it seems what a coincidence, you know, and that's, well, they've said he's been coming, he's been, they've been saying for a long time he's coming, people have been saying he's coming, and, you know, just like they say, well, They've been saying the economy is going to collapse for a long time, and so they just discount. They discount that. Doesn't mean it's not going to happen. And in Revelation, they talk about woe to those that destroy the planet. If this was written 2,000 years ago, how could they even conceived of destroying the planet? What does that mean, you know? But it's in there. Uh, that all the creatures in the ocean are going to die. Look what's happening in Fukushima. The MSM, major uh, mainstream media, they're not covering it. They don't want us to know. 
there's radiation. That particular uh, that particular type of radi radiation, which has a signature from Fukushima, is already detected in Gold Beach and uh, Tillamook Bay in the northwest. Um, I lost my train of thought there, but anyway, we're in deep shit here. I just wanted to recommend WSO channel on YouTube. It's a good place to start. Um, also about the economic collapse. A great channel on YouTube is X22 Report. X22 report. That's a great channel. He uses data, uh, current events. Give it a shot. It's a really great channel. It tell, lets you know about what's happening, what's coming our way that other people don't want us to know about. They don't want to, you know. Um, these banksters. The Fed, they're just printing money out of thin air, you know. Get out of the stock market. They're just, uh, the Fed, uh, they have these dark pools that they buy stocks. They're just, they just, they're keeping it pumped up. They know it's coming down, but they don't want it to come down on its own. They need something to blame it on. They need a war. That's why they want to, they want a war with Russia. They want to start a war with you know North Korea they want to they want to they want to bring it down on their terms and so you know people don't even realize that the there are bail-in provisions not bailout but bail-in provisions uh, in in Europe in the EU in the European common market the in their banks the banksters in Belgium they have bail-in provisions that they already used on Cyprus and oh, and uh, other countries. You can Google it, bail-in, where they'll take your deposits because they're insolvent. They'll take your deposits and they'll issue you a bond. So I wouldn't have any money in savings. Basically, get get buy gold and silver and uh, canned food, water. The electric goes, the water's going to go. A weapon to protect your, you know. If everything goes down, they want a civil war, you know. NASA's supposed to make an announcement today that's a, a, a big announcement, so I'm keeping, I'm going to uh, see how that goes, see what that is but we need to be sticking together and I mean these these people that are against Trump you know if you're for the country you want him to succeed they want him to fail you know the banksters the shadow government the deep state they want us pitted against each other they want a civil war and uh so I don't know. I know a lot of people don't want to hear it, but <sighs> alrighty, well, y'all have a good one.